why don't you start by introducing yourself and tell me what you're doing here. So, my name is Danielle Morley. I am uh, Executive Secretary of the Freshwater Action Network, which is a global coalition of NGOs, uh, mainly from the South. And we work together to influence decision makers um, on freshwater and sanitation policy. So, I haven't been to the Stockholm Ward Water Week for a few years. I've been having babies. Hmm. And I'm now back um, working with my colleagues. We've been very um, busily working on the rights of water and sanitation over the last couple of days and also on water and climate change. Um, I'm, yeah. So you've recently launched a five-year strategy plan. We've recently you? launched a five-year strategy which was approved by our governing council, which is made up of, our governing council is made up of our member networks in ANU in Africa, FANCA in Central America, FANAS in South America, FANSA in South Asia and FANMEX. And together uh, we form a global consortium and there's a governing council. We've just released a new five year strategy. Um, we've agreed to become a fully fledged independent organisation by 2012, which means moving away from our host, our current institutional host, which has been WaterAid for the past eight years, and to become a true global coalition of southern networks. Um, the themes within our strategy I mentioned previously are the rights of water and sanitation, water and climate change, and also good governance in the water sector. Okay, so if this strategy plan works out, how will the future look for uh, FAN? And That's too difficult to answer. <laughs> if you gave it a shot. If the strategy works out, how would the future look the organ from an organisational perspective? As I said, it would be a it's, it's a global civil society. It would be a global civil society network that is a southern-led organisation. So there's a lot of south-south collaboration between the different continents. We would probably still have a global coordinating secretariat. Uh, where that would be based, we don't know yet. Whether it would be in the north or in the south, and. Um, that the voice of local civil society would have a very strong influence at the, on the international stage and it's not only about INGOs having that influence and that ability to uh, leverage impact on policy makers and hold governments to account but also that southern civil society um, have the skills and the organisation necessary to compete really on that global stage. All right, well... Thank you very much.